Yeah. of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. We are gathered here this morning to bid farewell to our brother John and we want to pray that the company of the angels may come for his son and bring it to the bosom of God's love. We begin our service and Eucharistic celebration in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. John I bless your body with the holy water that recalls your baptism, of which St. Paul writes, All of us who are baptized into Christ Jesus, we are baptized into his death. By baptism into his death, we were buried together with him, so that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might live a new life. For if we have been united with him by likeness to his death, so shall we be united with him by likeness to his resurrection.
on the day of his baptism, John put on Christ. And in the day of Christ's coming, may he also be clothed with Christ in glory. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. So now we take the body to the church.
so that our prayers for John, our celebration of the Mass, and all our gifts may be acceptable to God, let us now recognize our own sinfulness. Let us ask for God's mercy and forgiveness so that we may worthily celebrate this sacred mystery. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us. May he forgive us our sins and bring us to life everlasting. Let us pray. O oh God, whose nature is always to forgive and to show mercy, we humbly implore you for your servant John, whom you have called to journey to you. And since he hoped and believed in you, grant that he may be led to our true homeland to delight in its everlasting joys. We make this our prayer through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. First reading. The souls of the righteous are in the hands of God. 
and no torment will ever touch them. In the eyes of the foolish, they seem to have died, and their departure was thought to be an affliction. And they are going from us to be their destruction. But, but they are at peace. For though in the sight of men they were punished, their hope is full in immortality. And having been disciplined a little, they will be received. No, they will receive great good because God tested them and found them to be worthy of Himself. Like gold in the furnace, He tried them, and like and like sacrificial burnt offering, He accepted them. Those who trust in Him will understand truth, and the faithful, and the faithful will abide in Him in love because the grace and mercy are upon his elect, the word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm, the Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Oh, 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 oh. 
St. Paul to the Romans, brethren, do you know, do you not know that all of us who have been baptized into Christ were baptized into death? We were buried, therefore, with him by baptism into death, so that as Christ was risen from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might walk in the newness of life. But if we have died with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with him. For we, for we know that Christ being raised from the dead will never die again. Death no longer has dominion over him. The word of the Lord. of your oil for our lamps are going out but the wise replied perhaps there will not be enough for us and for you go rather to the dealers and buy for yourselves and while they went to buy the bridegroom came and those who were ready went in with him to the marriage feast, and the door was shut. 
Afterwards, the other madams came also, saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he replied, Truly I say to you, I do not know you. Watch therefore, for you know neither the day nor the hour. The Gospel of the Lord. Dear Mrs. Jenga Kimani, Frasia, dear children of the late Mr. John Jenga Kimani, grandchildren, the family, my dear co celebrating priests, our parishioners, members of CWA, and uh, members of our parish brothers and sisters. God is good. And another time, and that is his nature. Wow. Yes, God remains to be good. His nature remains to be good, even in the midst of death. Even when we are mourning, we still contemplate the goodness of God. Because our life, is in the hands of God. All of us, we owe our origin in God and our destiny is known alone by God. And when one of us goes from this world, it is when we are meant to contemplate and reflect on the reality of our life being in the hands of God, the beginning of it and the end of it. We are here to bid farewell to John. He has been one of our active and very dedicated Catholic parishioner of this church community. And, it, and that is why his theme is is uh, going away from this world was a great shock to all of us. And I would like to take this opportunity on behalf of the entire parish, of the priests working here and parishioners, to extend my sincere condolence to the family, and especially to, to the spouse, to the wife and the children. I'm sure this must have been uh, one of the most difficult moments in your lives to lose a husband, a spouse, to lose a father, a grandfather, a family member, a friend. These are some of the times in our life that we think about, you know, the reality of death. These are the times when sometimes our faith is tested. These are times when sometimes we ask questions. We ask God, why did it happen? Why now? Why in this way? But these are questions that, humanly speaking, we ask. But all of them, maybe we don't get answers. But we believe that with faith and through faith, we are able to get answers to these questions. The word of God today that the family chose is there to encourage us during this time and especially to encourage the family. We are encouraged by the word of God that uh, death can only be understood and comprehended through the eyes of faith. Outside of faith, there are an and answered questions. Outside faith, we get sometimes very short answers. We get sometimes no answers at all. But within the context of faith, we are able to get 
even the answer to the question, why death? Why the death of John Jangakimani this time? The first reading is taken from the Book of Wisdom, the Old Testament Book of Wisdom. And it's saying something very important about the reality of death. It is saying that the souls of the just are in the hands of God. And who are the just? The souls of the just are in the hands of God. That means the souls of those who put their trust in the Lord. The souls of those who know God. The souls of those who believe in God. The souls of those who place their hope and everything in God. John was baptized a Catholic. He was um, a practicing Catholicism. He was a committed Christian. He was committed in matters of faith and matters of the church. And through that, we know that he knew God. He knows God. And he placed his hope in the Lord. And it is his soul that the first reading is talking about. The souls of the just are in the hands of God. A very consoling message for us, and especially for family, that for John, uh, the fact that he knew God and he lived to serve God in his life in various ways, his soul is among those souls that are in the hands of God. And we are told that it is only those who don't believe in God that think that when somebody is taken away from us, death is a waste, or that soul is wasted, or that person is wasted. It's only those who don't believe in God who think that death uh, is a waste, that the people, when they die, uh, they uh, have been punished, or we think that they have gone to, to a place where they are not, uh, they are not secure. But, but those who believe in God, well, they should know that uh, departure from this world is not an entry into non-existence, it is not an entry into damnation, it is not an entry into non-life, but it's an entry into the hands of God, it's an entry into the bosom, the, uh, the bosom of the love of God. A very important message for us that um, the soul of uh, John is among those that have received a, a godly embrace and they are in the hands of God. And for us who believe, and that is why we are here, because we believe, we know that death is not an end, we know that this is just an entry, a doorway into the life of God. And this is the life that is prepared for all those who trust in God. And this is the message I want to give to the family, that we believe and we are people of faith, and we know that Jesus Christ, who was the first to die, he went ahead of us and he resurrected. So also, those who live in Christ, those who know Christ, those who believe in Christ, those are washed with the water of baptism, those are anointed with the oil of chrism, those have been won for Christ, and their destiny is the same destiny as that of our Lord Jesus Christ, the life of the resurrection. The gospel is talking about us, and it's talking about the, the need to be wise, to know this truth that the first reading is talking about. It is about the ten maiden, five who are foolish, five who are wise. The difference is that those who are wise, they were ready. Those who are wise, they had enough oil, not just to burn for the time they expected to be there, but even to burn uh, the time after, because they went to receive the bridegroom, and the bridegroom uh, uh, delayed, and, and the, the foolish one that just taken just enough uh, that, that, that got burnt up, and, and then they did not have anything, and yet 
they had to wait for another time for the bridegroom to come. But the wise ones, they did not just carry enough, they carried more than enough so that when it delayed for the bridegroom to come, they still had enough oil to keep burning. And that oil sustained them until the bridegroom came. And those are the only ones who are able to receive the bridegroom. Again, a message that is also very important for us, a message uh, that, is, uh, that challenges us to be always prepared. And in the midst of death, we need always to be prepared. Because if there is anything that God has kept hidden from any of us, from all of us, is the day and the time when we shall leave this world, when we shall die. Other things we can discuss, uh, whether we know them and we know the secret of God. But at least the secret of death has been uh, kept uh, um, uh, intact for all of us. And that's why the gospel is urging us, if we are Christians and if we need uh, to not to lose at the last moment, we need to be always prepared. Because we do not know the hour, we do not know the time when death would come. And Jesus Christ tells us the gate person, the gate person is there to guard the home, to guard, to guard the, the gate. If he knew the time a thief would come, that gate man will not leave that gate. He would leave the gate when he knows that, uh, uh, you know, that the, the thief is not coming. But since he doesn't know, it means that the gate person has to be always there. He has always to keep watch. So also for us, we do not know the time when the master will come. We do not know the time when the bridegroom will come. And therefore we have to keep watch. We have to be keep there. We have to keep praying. We have to keep ourselves prepared. That is the message. John kept himself prepared. John prepared his life. He lived well with his, uh, with his family, with his, uh, um, with his wife, with the children. He was uh, a man very friendly. He created friendship not only with human beings, but he created friendship with God. Every time I used to see John come to church uh, when, when, he, when, when he was able, I used to see him uh, attending uh, a mass and attending other activities. And in that way, he kept himself prepared. Of course, uh, he, he was baptized and he received the sacraments that uh, he needed to have received. And all through, he kept his relationship with God intact. That is the meaning of being prepared. That is the meaning of having enough oil, not only enough oil, but more than enough oil, so that uh, it, it is able to help us uh, keep burning until the bridegroom come. And we can believe and we can say uh, without uh, fear uh, that John was prepared to receive the master when he came for him. And for us here is to pray for him and for his soul that it may be that way, that God may receive him and may grant him that peace uh, that he needs, that kingdom of, of God that he has prepared for all of us who believe in him. But the message is also directed to us. For John, it has happened. God, uh, John's time has come. He has come uh, to embrace the Messiah. He is in the bosom of God's love, and the angels are around him. What about us? When that time, come, when that time will come, how prepared shall we find ourselves? How shall our lamps still have enough oil? Uh, that will help us keep burning until the Messiah comes. And therefore also an opportunity for us as we pray for John and as we pray for the consolation and peace of the family, we also pray for ourselves because we are on a journey, we are moving, to, we are waiting for our own and we need to prepare so that when that time comes, we are all prepared and we'll have an opportunity to join John to enjoy eternal life that has been prepared for those who believe in God. The psalm today tells us 
But the Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing that we lack. There is nothing that is beyond us because we have God and God loves us. He has kept uh, safe uh, uh, John all this time and the time has come for him to go. And God continues to provide for us. He will continue to provide for the family. He will continue to provide for um, uh, Mrs. Njanga uh, Kimani. He's going to provide for the family and for all of us because he's our shepherd. We want to trust in God who is our shepherd who is the shepherd of his uh, children, who knows what we need, and who knows our tomorrow. We pray that uh, his grace may be sufficient to us so that even in the midst of death, in uh, times when we have questions in our lives, answers may be provided, and the grace of God may be abundant in our life to be able to embrace everything that comes to us in faith. Again, a very um, a great uh, heartfelt condolence to the family and uh, we've been with you we've been journeying with you especially in prayer and we are still together and we pray that god may keep you uh, safe that god may continue to grant you that consolation that comes from above and for john may he have eternal life in the hands of god's love Eternal rest, grant unto him, O Lord. Eternal rest, grant unto John, O Lord. Eternal rest, grant unto John, O Lord. Let us come to our loving Father, asking him to give eternal rest to the departed John Jenga Kimani and comfort and hope to the living. For our Father, John Jenga, that the one sacrifice he offered on earth may bring him to eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For those who mourn the loss, especially of John Jenga, that grief may be rightened by the recent Christ, and his promise to unite us again in our heavenly home, let us pray to the Lord. Lord For the grace of a well-prepared death, that when God calls, will be ready with a lamp of faith, a right, a double piece rope, and stained. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For the forgiveness of sins, that our prayers at the offering of this atoning sacrifice will bring all to the departed, to the full vision of God's glory. Let us pray to the Lord. We ask this prayer for the intercession of our Blessed Virgin Mary, as we say, Salam Maria, Veja Mema, Kuala Nima, Mbae Tua Kuliko Naratu Ote, Nae Sum Sautum Bolaku Nae Fi, Mare Antakati Kua Mamungu, Utoambe Sisula Kusebu, Sarasana Sarakura Kuritua Nima. God of our salvation, you reward the just and console those who mourn. Hear our prayers in the name of your risen Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever.
Let us continue to pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. As we humbly present to you these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, for the salvation of your servant, John Jengakimani, we beseech your mercy that he who did not doubt your son to be a loving saviour may find in him a merciful judge who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just that you tell our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In Him the hope of the blessed resurrection has dawned, that those saddened by certainty of dying might be consoled by the promise of immortality to come. Indeed, for your faithful Lord, life is changed, not ended, and when his heavenly dwelling turns to dust, as an eternal dwelling is made ready for them in heaven. And so, with angels and like angels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. gives you praise, for through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and you make them holy, and you never cease to gather people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O oh Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing. He broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said a blessing, 
and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O oh Lord, and advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and the charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope, David Kamau, our bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the dear people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of his family whom you are summoned before you, in your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself, all your children scattered throughout the world. Remember your servant, John Jacob Kimani, whom you have called from this world to yourself, Grant that he was united with your son in a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection. When from the earth he will rise up in the flesh those who have died and transform our lowly body after the pattern of his own glorious body. To our departed brothers and sisters too, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind and admittance to your kingdom, that we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, when you will wipe away every tear from our eyes, for seeing you, our God, as you are, we shall be like you for all the ages, and praise you without end. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good.
taught us to call God our Father. And therefore we have the courage to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, honor be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass us against us. And lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from all evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from our distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who say to apostles and we say to each one of us here present this morning, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not to my sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. May the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be always with you. And also for each other, the sign of peace.
prayer before communion. Oh my God, I firmly believe that you are truly present in the Holy Eucharist. I confess that I am a poor sinner and I am not worthy to receive you. But you just say a word and I shall be healed and then I can receive you in my soul. I am sorry for all my sins because they have offended you and I resolve never to commit them again. Have mercy and forgive me, Lord. I desire to receive you with my whole heart. Come into my poor soul and make my heart your abode. Amen.
Proceed with off trick.
servant, John Jenga Kimani, who has journeyed from this world, may by this sacrifice be cleansed and free from sin, and so receive the everlasting joys of the resurrection. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us now be seated for the next program. The MC, Professor Shegerwegi, so that he can call to us the various speakers. Santeni. Santeni, Santa. God is good? One all the time? Uh, I'm Professor Michael Chegeruji Kahindi, that's my full name. And I'm here with a lot of sadness, even as Master of Ceremony, because John Jenga Kimani is my cousin, his mother, Jennifer Janja Kahindi married to Joshua Kimani Nage is my father's older sister we are first cousins those who may not have known his parents they are there fortunately in this booklet the picture is in the middle in black and white that's my aunt that's my uncle and although I'm his first cousin on the mother's side. I want to say I'm also representing his family on the father's side. Bariyanagi, Bariyan Budia, who are led in the committee which was working on this preparation by retired Pastor John Gichuru, who is with us here today. We work together, we always work together, both sides of the family. And I'm here a committee that presents both of them in our sadness. First of all, let me thank the clergy of this church for facilitating us and for this requiem mass. Father, thank you very much. You've been with us at home. You ministered 
to John as a parishioner. I know how much he valued this church. What a fitting tribute, Father, that this mass in which you had, I think, more than six co-celebrants. Fathers, clergy, this is not usual. We do not take it for granted that you came to worship with us and to bless the family. We will never forget this event. Now, it's fitting that Ponajenga was received into the church by the Holy Ghost Fathers in a Holy Ghost church, and we are saying goodbye to him under the ministry of the Spiritans, the Holy Ghost Order. God loves patterns, and this is one of them. Asante Nisana. Wadakuga Dehaha. Tokimagaria. Muruatata. John Jenga Kimani. Tunitanide. Na Andromo Shiwao. Shiwa Barian Budia. Barian Age. Rai Karana Ikaroyo. Shi Karoshia Numba Shiere. You do it to meet a Kuriata to imete. Barian Rada. And Barian Budia. Tonga de Tuni. Late uh, re retired pastor, Anglican pastor John Pichuru Humphrey, who is a first cousin to Jenga. Na Takura Kahinda Nengoria Mudoroko to Domera Rugano, the first person to read us the theology, who will do that in English. And it will be his grandchild, Muchay Maura, Muchay Uridi, with your mom. And Jerry. Birth and early childhood. The late John Jenga Kemani was born in 1934 at Watiti sublocation Kangemi, Kangemi location, Westland sub county, Nairobi county, which was then part of Kiambu district. He was the firstborn child of the late Joshua Kemani Nage and late Jennifer Janja Kemani, brother to the late Honorable Francis Kahende Kemani, the late Jane Jerry Ngugi, the late Salome. Wanjiko Kibe, Lydia Nyangendo uh, Kemani, Rosemary Wariara Thande, Regina Nyambura Waweru, the late John P. Jenga, JB, Njoroge Kemani Nage, the late Winnie Mudoni, Vincent Wainena, and Frederick Waroi. As a young boy, John Jenga was brought up like all the children of that period, and he tended his father's cows and goats like other young Kikuyu boys of his age. Education. In the year 1941, he was enrolled at Kangemi Primary School, where he started his primary education. Afterwards, in 1950, he transferred to Holy Ghost Mission, Firuta Intermediate School, and joined secondary, where he studied up to Form 2 in 1952. Initiation into adulthood. The late John Jenga was initiated into adulthood according to the Agekoyo culture and traditions under the Harakamengo age group in the year 1948. He remained a very committed member of his age group to the end. Faith. The late John Jenga Kimani was a committed Christian of the Catholic faith throughout his life. He started catechism classes while attending HGM Riruta Intermediate School and Junior Secondary School. He was baptized at St. John's, the Baptist Catholic Church, Riruta. And he and his family attended that church for as long as they were living in Kangemi. In 1972, he and his family moved to Karen, their presence home present home, 
and they became members of St. Thomas Seminary Church. Later, they moved to St. John, the Evangelist Church, Langata South Road, this church that you're in. Work, business, and professional life. As a young man, he started working as a driver in his father's business in Kangemi on Wayakiwe, then known as Scatler's Road. He was one of very few Africans with a driving license. Later, he started various types of businesses of his own in areas like transport, automobile spare parts, building and construction, and real estate, including rental of residential properties. He was among the very first few Africans to own and run a retail and wholesale business in what is today known as River Road. His involvement in Kenya's struggle for independence. The late John Jenga Kemani and his extended family were involved in the struggle for Kenya's independence. Having lost their ancestral land to white settlers in the Kavete area, he was arrested in April 1954, as was his father and many uncles, and detained for his involvement in the struggle for land and freedom of Kenya by Africans. His business in River Road was closed and then looted. He was detained in the following places, Manyani at the river, Embakasi, Sayusi Island in Lake Victoria, and Moya Detention Camp. After five years, he was released at Kangemi Home Guard Post in 1959. The late marriage and family life. The late John Jenga Kimani met the, life, the love of his life, Rachel Dutta, Jaroge, my mother, and his grandmother, and they married under Kikuyu customs and tradition in 1952, 59. In the year 1975, the marriage was solemnized and celebrated at St. Thomas Aquinas Seminary Church, Karen. They were then blessed with seven children, namely the late Jennifer Janja, Joseph Kimani, the late Christine Netta, Anne Jerry, Regina Wairimo, David Jeroge, and Francis Kahende. He was a loving husband and a loving father, grandfather and great-grandfather. Social activity. He was very social and had many friends. He was a member of Karen Country Club, Muthaiga, Sigona, and Nyali Golf Club, and the United Kenya Club. He was also a member of various social groups, such as Baria Budia and Mutura Group, Health and Illness. The late John Jenga Kimani enjoyed good health throughout his life, but began receiving treatment, especially after August 2020. He flew for medication, medical care to South Africa, and was later treated in Nairobi Hospital and Aga Khan University Hospital. On 28th December 2020, his health deteriorated and he was admitted at Nairobi Hospital and remained there receiving treatment until his sudden dismissal on 18th February 2021. He leaves behind his beloved wife, Fresia Duta, five children, 17 grandchildren, seven great-grandchildren. He, he died at the age of 87 years old. The Lord giveth and taketh away. May his name be praised. Amen. Thank you. Kenyanjui Arwai, Nego Tuzome Rarugano Nagekoyo. Kenyanjui? In the meantime, because we want to save time, I am going to my eulogy. Okoro magita Arisha, please. We go to my over there. You know, you know, you know. Can many tribute? Rokana ro auto ro wa muti gaire John Jenga wa can many wana ge. Ushiaro na unyinyi wake. Mutika ire John Jenga kimani 
Asherirwo mwakaine wa girie mwe magana kenda na mirongo etatu na inya. Watiti sub location, Kagemi location, Westland sub county, Nairobi county, kuria kwale hede yo Kiabu district. Ari mwana wa irigitha adhi wa mutika ire Joshua Kemani inage na mwedwa na ire Jennifer Jaja Kemani. Arari mwana wanyina na mutika ire Honda Book Francis Kahede Kemani. Mwedwa na ire Jen Jerry Goge. Mwedwa na ire Salome Wajiko Wakive. Didi Anyanga Edo Kemani. Rose Mirewari Aratha Ade. Regina Nyabura Wawero. Mutika ire John P. Jaga J.B. Joroge Kemani inage. Mwadwa na irewi ni mudhoni, Vincent wa inaina na Frederick wa aruwe. E mwana mwanini, Johnny Jaga are liwa ota shiana iye ikesia hedeyo, na ni are idhagia buri na ngobe shia idhe, mena shiana iye ike kuri igana na mutugo wa age koyo. Gidhomo, kuri mwaka wa agiri ume magana keda na mirogwe na nemwe, ni aberiri gidhomo shukuru ine wa Kangemi Primary School, Korea abereirie githomo gya ke kya muthingi. Dutha ucio ni athire guthomera Holy Ghost Mission HGM, Riruta Intermediate School and Junior School. Korea athomeire kinya form 2 mwaka ine wa giri emwe magana kenda ma 1952. Kogimara. Mutiga ire John Jaga ke mani agi marire kuringana na mutugo wa age koyo na rikare ya haraka mengo. Mwaka ina wagiri ya mamanga na keda na mirogo na na inyanya. Na akore etuwa eo mwewari ikareu na mishamani ya leo utoro ina wake wadhe. Kanitha na wete kio. Mutika ire John Jaga Kemani akore etuwa emo kristo moru mwa kanitha waga dhoreki utoro ina wake wadhe. Abele ili kutha wa makirira hedere aare moru tuwa shukuru ina wa HGM Lilota Intermediate School and junior school. Ni awa tithiri waka ni dhaino wa St. John the Baptist Catholic Church Rilota o hideo. Na ake na ado wake madhoga maga kani dhaine osio mea kaya oyo othe dira maikaraga kagami. Mwaka ina wagiri ima maga na keda na mirogo mwagwa jana igire wena ado wake ni moe mire kagami magitha amira kere ni korea ale mwishi wa oreu na magitwika ameba aka ni dha wa St. Thomas Aquinas Seminary Church Dutha ine ni moe mire kuhu Magithie kanitha ine wa St. John the Evangelist Church Langata South Road Oko ukakereni Na ni kuwa tole Wira na biyashara Emo na kemo ni nimuti gaire ni abere ili ya wira edereva Dini wa biyashara ya ithe Wayakiwe Hedere ya yata kwa Skatlas Road Aale omwe wado airo anyinyi mono Ale ya mahe tuwa redhe ni yago tuwa rangari. Dudho shine ya beriri ya bisha shia ke mwenye, mwenyewe, shia maho domatika nete. Tao kui, kana transport, wedi wa ido shia gari, spare parts, meako, wajoria, wakanyo basha wako bolithia, na maage maige. Ale umwe wado airo abere kuhingura biyashara na ilovi dhainye, kule omu othe kwetago river road. Kuro ira bara ya weyadhi. Mutika ire John Jaga Kemani, hamwe na nyoba yao, ni maanyi itira itemi, dhini wa koro ira weyadhi wa aboroli wa Kenya, tawadu ni maatu nye toki dhaka keao, ni adho ogo mwena wakafete. Ni anyi itiru wa mweline wa mweli wakana, mweka wakiri wa mwena keda na mirogo ya tanu na inya, ohede mwena ithe, na ando aige, aage, mamukonie, na ake hingoro ni odo wa, wakuru haniyo na alea maro wagira bara na idha kasi ya doa ilo. Biyashara ya keriva road ni ya higiruo na ido ilia siyale kuo ike iyo. Ni ya hairuo kodo kwa igeta manyani, adhiriva, embakasi, sayu ni ya elande ya ekore ya Lake Victoria na mwaya detention camp. Dudu wame ya ketano ni ya rakele ilio kangemi home guard post mwaka ine wa agirie mwe magana keda na mirogo etano na keda. Kuhika niya na family. Mutiga irene meda nina mwedo wake, fresh ya duta wajo rage, na makihika niya kuligana na mituko na odo ile wa age koyo, mwaka ina wagiri emwe, magana keda, na mirogo etano na keda. 
mwakaina wa giri emo magana keda na mirogo mwagwaja na idhano ni meru hili yoiki wao kanithaine wa St. Thomas Aquina Seminary Church Karen ni mara adhimiro na shia na mwagwaja na one mwadoa na ireja ni fajaja Joseph Kemani mwadoa na ire Christine Neta Ani Jerry Regina Wairimo David Joroge na Francis Kahede mutiga ire John Jaga alare modo Uredete mutumia wake na uredete siyana siyake Ona siyana 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 siyake Kunyita nirana moige na arata Mutika ire arare modo mumado Mwedi ado Na arare na arata ige Arare mome bawa current country club Mudaiga golf club Sigona golf club Na anyali golf club Na arare mome bawa united kenya club Arare moromeri ni mukaru wake ya makia nyoba yao ya bale ya abudhia na matora grupo. Dwari na kuhuroka. Mutika ire John Jenga Kemani akoreto enaugi mawa mwaga wa mwere miaka yake yaothe. Taka hidaka mwaka mudhirule ni abeliri kuthe ni yone mwere na agedhi kutha dekeru wa thivitare South Africa. Dudhoshi ya neari kiteiru wa thivitare ine agakani University Hospital na Nairobi Hospital. Kure mweri mwere 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 Toku kai kumi na mwaja na tushukuru mwaja. Ara huru kire ena mea kamiroko enana na mwaja. Ni mwaja ni wahea nile John Jega na nawe wa mshokera. Ito ara gairi rao kumio. Amen. Thank you very much. Nyanjua ruwai. Nyanjui is a nephew of... Mr. Jenga Kimani. Ne toko igwa tribute. Ya andeketuo ne mutumia wake. We're going to hear a tribute written by Ms. Fresh and Luta. Jenga Kimani. To her late husband. And it will be read by Mrs. Ani Chege, who is my wife. Church, I'm humbled to stand here before you to read Mama Kimani's tribute, and I read, Tribute to my dear husband, best friend, and father of my children. It is difficult to summarize in words the life we shared together. You are my husband, confidant, father to my children, even mechanic and watchman. And Mr. Fix It, name it, you are my all. We were together for 62 years. We had our highs and lows in life, but we managed to stand by each other through it all. You were always diligent and gave your all in everything that you did. Your love for your children was outstanding and you did anything and everything you could for them. I was proud to have a loving father to our children. This same love you extended to our grandchildren and great-grandchildren. You encouraged them to work hard in school and be the best in everything they did. Your kindness and generosity was unmatched. You carried yourself with dignity always smiled and was well-groomed. I thank God for the many years he gave us together. Fare thee well, my beloved, for you have fought a good fight. You have finished the race. You have kept the faith. It is well. It is well. It is well with my soul. Amen. Thank you very much, Mrs. Chege. Inaki mani, 
ona mohoriku go mohoriku to go chokeri angado ni ati nyuroni ka inda ka kwande ka shigo shio sha kugera muduru go amurata witu amwendo witu kwa heri we thank you uh Mama Kimani, those wonderful words of farewell to your beloved husband. Now, we're going to hear tributes from the children and grandchildren, and I'd like you, please, to be available, be brief. And we're going to start with uh, Didi Mwaura. Uh, Didi Mwaura is the daughter of... Uh, our beloved late John Jenga Kimani. As I look back on my life and see how far I have grown as a child, mother, and wife, I see you, Dad, in all of it. No one was quite like you. You're always telling me that I am special in every way. Thank you. You taught me, most of all, to be patient, and you always gave me guidance when I needed it. You are my confidant. And when we had a hearty talk with Dad, or maybe I was angry, I think you all know Dad. If you came, you were full of rage, or you wanted, you were angry, he would just tell you, be calm. That's, he was very calm and always kept quiet and listened to everybody. Our conversation always ended. Dad, you are part of God's great plan for my life. And I ask him to keep you till we meet again in glory. Thank you. Thank you, Didi. Uh, I would like to call on Oirimu. No, no, sorry. Kahindi. Kahindi wa jenga. This is the grandchild. Chuki mani. Oh, Chuki mani. Uh, what is this? You will yeah. do it together. Okay. 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 And Joe Kimani, could you please get ready? We skipped you because you are also combined with mom. Um, my, my, my name is Daisy. But I'm reading on behalf of my dad, Sir, my father. Thank you, my father. You've taught me so many things ever since I was young. Most importantly, how, you to, how to be a man. You taught me wisdom, endless wisdom, which I will live with forever. I have worked with you, and we have done so much. Thank you for being the grandfather of my children. We'll always remember you. Rest in peace. Joe. Jenna can't see, so 
So let it read. Please go and just read it. Let's come together. This is the late John Jenga Kimani's first son, Joe Kimani. You, I, okay, okay, go ahead. You are my best friend and one of the greatest people I have had the pleasure of knowing. You are very authoritative and taught me almost everything I know. Thank you for being my father. I will miss you greatly. Thank you. Thank you, Joe. Thank you, Jonathan, for doing that wonderful job. Wairimo, uh, what can you do? And Karanja, please be ready, get ready. Okay. Just tell me. I don't think the name was left out here. You bring it to your son. This is the daughter of uh, the late John Jenga. She's the franchise. To my loving dad, God, love thee so much. You will always be in my heart. You will always be my hero, and I will cherish you all the time we spend together. Rest in peace from your loving daughter, Regina Wairimo. Thank you, Regina. Santa Santa Regina. Now, I think we have Karanja. And uh, Jenga Kimani, please be ready to read for Tuguka as well as Duta Jenga. Uh, thanks, Mbuzay. Mbuzay taught me to, be, to work hard to, and be honest. I will ever remember you. Thank you. Asante Sana Karanja. Yeah, we appreciate your taking time. Duta? This too. Hmm? Okay. Duta Jenga, branch out. Yes, Duta Kimani. Uh, I'll be reading a tribute on behalf of all of the grandchildren. So, okay. Uh, Grandpa was one of the kindest men I have ever met. His generosity was never ending. He was a very smart man and worked hard for everything he had. We are sad that, you, that we don't get to be together anymore. We will miss you, Guka, greatly. We were blessed to have you as our grandfather and we'll treasure the memories we had with you. One of our favorite memories is when we all got together on holidays and had a feast. He would slaughter a goat or two and have us celebrate life and share laughs. He also had the ability to have a witty comeback for, every, for almost any conversation, something that he has passed to everyone in the family. He encouraged us to study and work hard to the best of our ability. Grandpa will be missed, but we have so many wonderful memories of him. We will always think of you and smile. Thank you. Thank you, Duta, for reading that tribute on behalf of all the grandchildren. Uh, was boy Kaman here? Or you included everybody. Okay. I would like to take this opportunity uh, to request Pastor before we give the vote of thanks. Unless there's another tribute. Pastor Gichuru. John Gichuru is, uh, as I said, 
Това се каза до Джон Джакемани, his father Humphrey is a brother to Joshua Kemani. Mwadhani ya kumiyo. Mwadhani ya kumiyo muno. Praise God. This urology is giving Jenga four kinds of life. Four kinds of life. If you took time to read it and analyze it, it is giving us a person with four kinds of life. The first one is about his religious life. And the father really summarized it very well. And I think if Bishop Jenga, John Jenga is here, who was one of the greatest friends of him and his pastor when he was St. Thomas Seminary Church, could testify that. So Njenga, the first religious rite, kind of rite, he gave it, he gave time to God. And all of you, mostly you know Charlie Bright, his song, about giving out, take time out to God, to Jesus. Because he took time for you to die on the cross so that your soul won't be lost. So Jericho started that wisdom very early. So he had what we call the fear of our Lord which is the beginning of wisdom and knowledge of the righteous Holy God. So to him, all his wisdom of life, all the skill of living, because wisdom is skill of living, came from the word of God, although he acquired secular wisdom. So Jenga have that regard. So the other one is business. Business, he had a guru at our age, his father, Joshua Wakimani, Nemo Yuira Wake. O Kagera Dina Ashara, Arazi Yibi Ashara, Aku Weto, Ninja Gemonini. Zuzoshio alaligirie na joroge kule ya tuwi uitaguzu. Na maraligirie na kengine moisho. Oli ya berigi na jenga. Adabosho, aki maniwana ya geniando. Very hardworking and very biashara. These people, father, followed a very good mentor. Their father. So they took it that to succeed, you have to work hard. So these people are hard working in all this. So Jenga's life, second life, is of business and farming. Because you like farming and has got some few farms I know of, and they are very good. Now, the third one is family life. Family life, according to this thing, and according to all those who have given tribute. I think he used the philosophy of love, which is well talked of in 1 Corinthians chapter 13. And here love is not, is not a feeling or an emotion. It is commitment. It is kindness. It is humbleness. You can go and read that chapter. The chapter of life, of love. 
So Jenga loved his family in that context. Arendete shiana shiake na kumatunga tera, taking care. So the relationship of his family was also business. He involved his children in business. All of them knew what their father was doing, especially Jenga, who has talked here. They were always in the office with the museum. When Mama was having business, they were combining those business together. So Mama would not have problem because already the foundation stone was laid by an architecture, an architecture who knows that one time he will leave his family. So it is team work, team collaboration. They collaborated in all matters. So that business and family life are well intertwined. He is somebody who knew that an end can come and so he has left a good foundation for his children. And then the other one is Shosho Rife. Shosho Rife, you have heard how many clubs. I've attended gone with him, very many golf clubs with him. Nezitanake golf clubs in Yigimono, Nanindikimui, Nezitanake, Mazikoine, my other great friends. Because friends are very important. Nurturing friends and maintaining them is a key to life. Have a very, you know, uh, happy life or a healthy life. So he has maintained very good life with those friends like Kinamushai, Lakumo, and one day Ainge, one had working to they were all friends. They had very many friends. And Indians, I used to meet in his office, Indians, businessmen. So he acquired that knowledge of entrepreneurship from those Indians, Europeans. He, he had very many people. So his life, social life, got, got that. And you could read that. So we can see that we who are families should enumerate him. Nitwagirire kumugeria atweke our role model. Ithwa do a nyumba ya mbudhia na nyumba ya nagi. Todo mudhuri uyu arari very hard working. And so was his brother, Kaindi. And so are the other brothers. They are all my friends. I know how hard working they are. They really. How do you do, Gingo Dakuga, about how to stay good, healthy life? Because this person had a very good, healthy life. He knew how to have good diet. And I'm sure anybody who has got to his home knows this museum about his diet. Namama knows about it. He is somebody even in his office. Because I used to pass there and he used to ask me, wait for lunch, wait for lunch. And I could see how he took his health on matters of diet. The other thing which he took to stay healthy and to enjoy life is rest. He used to go to Mombasa to rest with his wife and family. And, and, and this was something people may not have known about these characteristics or qualities of this person. He used to go to have rest. So you have rest. Uh, otherwise, if you do not rest and have good diet, then what do you do? You will be eating or you will be eating uh, medicine. Yeah, that's what you do. So Jenga is not known on going to hospital because he maintained his health very well. The other thing is exercise. Golf is a very difficult thing. You know, those, I know there are golfers here. Who are golfers? You move from one course to another, hitting and walking. And, and that is enough exercise. 
So Genga, to stay healthy, had to ex had that uh, opportunity of being uh, on golf. The other thing about this fellow, he was self-confident. Every time you see what he's talking about things, he will do. Self-confidence, every time. Another thing which I cannot remember, because Karanja was here, is about his workers, how he treated them. Karanja was eating the same food he was eating at lunchtime. It's wonderful. He took this boy when he was too young, too young, and has reared him until now he has a family, until now he has where he can call home, and he picked him from the, from the street, from nowhere. This is a very good thing, Father, of minding about, sharing. You share what you have with less fortunate. This is something I cannot forget. And even his drivers, the Mungurino, the Mungurino is driver who, who carries, who used to carry him, and we used to go in very many places with him. He maintained that relationship, good teamwork with his workers. And even the people in, at home, at the office, those who work for him, I know they have lost a good employer and we can thank them. Let us enumerate. Goodness will come back to him. Although it does not make somebody to be saved. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, retired Pastor John Gichuru, first cousin. Hey, you come here, John. Retired pastor of the Anglican Church. Yes. Uh, before we wind up this secular part of the ceremony, Father, I would like to call upon my cousin and also cousin of uh, the late John Jenga Kimani, Ambassador Max Kahinde, who is going to give a vote of thanks uh, on behalf of the family, at the request of the family, and also on behalf of the committee, which uh, Pastor John Gichuru and I chaired. Uh, thank you very much, Professor. Uh, I normally call him Mike because uh, he's uh, my cousin, which I do not encourage other people to do. I normally call him Professor. The father in charge of this mass, the clergy, and distinguished friends, all of you, who have come to be with us this day. Good afternoon. Yes, it is afternoon. Um, my name is Ambassador Max Kahende, as Professor Shege has said, and my father and the mother of late Jen John Jenga Kemani uh, were brother and sister. She was the eldest in the Kahendi family. Same goes for Professor Father's, um, for, the, for the father of Professor Shege, who was the elder of my father. So we are all in, in that, in that uh, union. I stand before you, as Professor has said, 
at the request of the family of uh, our late dear brother John Jenga Kimani to recognize and say a word of thanks to the very many people who have stood by us in this very difficult uh, period. Let's take it all the way from the time when John Jenga Kimani uh, got unwell, and we have heard from a story from sometimes last year, up to the time when the Lord called him to be with him. From the words which have been spoken by John, the one who has just been here before me, we should start by thanking the good Lord Almighty for giving us a very special person in life. I think from the tributes, from the words of John Gishuru, from the words of the father who, who, who talked here uh, before, all get a feeling that John Jenga Kimani was born someone very, very special. It is, it is true, he was taught business by his father, but how many of us have children whom we are trying to teach to do what, and they don't want to do it? A very obedient child, and at a very young age, detained, and he lost a period of five years in his youth, and came back to be what he became, a very special person, blessed by God. So we give thanks to God for uh, that long life of uh, our brother, uh, John Jenga Kimani. John had a very happy family, starting with his wife, as we have heard, his children, his grandchildren, relatives like ourselves, friends in social clubs, and in business. We have lost someone very special. I wish also to thank uh, the funeral committee, which was led by John Gishuru and uh, Professor Michael Chege, in the planning and execution of the arrangements which will lead to the final resting place of our dear brother. They have done a very good job meeting every day, and um, I think not only the two, but the whole committee deserves our very special thanks for what you have done. I need to come back to this church because St. John, the Evangelist Church, they have been with us at home. There's one special lady who used to come. She was also our messenger because we used to send her to you. Uh, but they give us support, moral support, spiritual support, and even material support. And above that, for this day, we are very grateful for what you have done. Uh, in regard to the final journey of our brother John Jenga Kimani to march on to heaven to be the Lord. I was looking at the picture at the end of a poor man, I think being received by God. And I said, if only we could give him a suit, it might resemble John Jenga Kimani on the pearly gates being received by the Lord. I have faith his journey is like that. We also would like to, to thank other groups and uh, churches who found time to also come home to give support to the family. Our thanks also go to doctors and staff of Nairobi Hospital and the other hospitals which had been mentioned there before but for Nairobi Hospital, we'd like to thank one person in particular, Dr. Gedegi. I don't know whether you are here. 
If he is not here, I've seen some doctors on that side who are very close friends of John Jenga Kimani. Please pass on to him our very special thanks for the way he gave all to make John Jenga Kimani comfortable in his final days. We cannot also forget to thank many uh, who have answered the call from Kangemi, from all over Karen and other places, uh, to visit John Jenga's home and to give comfort and donations to the family. We also would like to thank uh, those at home, the ladies who provided uh, food to those who came, because people were coming from their work and coming home. They were hungry, they were given tea and uh, a bite. And uh, we do thank those who uh, assisted in that manner. We also have special thanks to the team which is waiting for us at uh, Langata Cemetery as we give our departed brother his final resting home. Finally, we do wish to pay special thanks to you all who found time uh, to come and be with us today and uh, to tell you that we greatly cherish your friendship, your love, and solidarity. And to all those we have mentioned and others we have not mentioned, I want to say thank you, thank you, and God bless you all. Thank you. Santa Sana Basil Kahinde, before I hand over to Father to continue with the spiritual part of this ceremony, I wanted the children of the late Jenga to stand up because this man was so happy in his life and who gave so much to others had an illness at the very end that challenged him, his body and his spirit and yet he held firm Kimani Widi Kahinde Wairimo Dide I will not ask your mom to stand. But I want to tell you one thing. Do not, I saw you. I visited you with my cousins when your dad was unwell at home. We saw him in hospital. He's now gone. Do not doubt for once in your life with the support of your mother that you did the best that you could do the best that a human being could do for him. Never doubt yourselves. I saw it with my own eyes. Our families have seen you at work with your mom here giving you the leadership. God is our witness. You have done the best that could be done to get him the right help, the doctors, hospital, treatment, everything that he required. And you'll be blessed. Please sit down. Mom, I know you led them in that difficult journey. Let me go back to where I started, Father, and thank this congregation. I'm a product of the Holy Ghost Fathers, of the Spiritans, the Mangu High School, at a time when they were giving the top-notch education in this country any boy could want. We know those standards, and we always, always respect you. I thank the clergy for coming to say goodbye to our beloved in this uh, Mass of the Resurrection. And there's nothing we can give you except to thank you and we continue to pray that you be filled with the Holy Spirit in your service, in spiritual matters, but also in secular matters because I won't be standing here but for that education that I've just referred you to. Asante Nisana. Na santeni jirani na jamii 
ya dugu yangu kwa kuja hapa kuwa na sisi. Asante sana. So thank you very much, uh, Professor, for taking us through this uh, very important session and all who have uh, spoken for a kind words to the family and about the late uh, John Nyanga Kibani. I think he deserves that. As we come to the end of our uh, ceremony here, uh, I want to recognize the presence of the co-celebrating priests, priests who have, who have known um, the family and uh, uh, Mr. Njenga Kimani, and for that reason, they have, they have found time to come and be with us. And I want just to recognize them by inviting uh, each of them just to, to say his name and just one word to their family before we conclude. Fathers Karibuni. Tumsifu Yesu Christo. My name is Kimani. I'm born in the year but working at Gidhunguri. To assure this family that we are going to pray for you, that the Lord may strengthen you and unite you as a family, and continue to pray for the soul of your departed dad, that he may join the company of saints in heaven, so that he may continue to pray for us who are on this pilgrim journey. May the Lord God give you courage in this trying time. To msifu Yesu Christo. To msifu Yesu Christo. Dainamwega. Nahendeshe ode. So my name is Father Boniface Barasa. I'm a condemnative evangelizer and a neighbor to our late dad, John Jenga. Uh, many times he used to pass by in our community over there, uh, close to Stedmark Gardens, and he used to pay a visit to uh, Jesus every moment he passed by. He could not pass by our chapel before stopping by and praying. So we remember him uh, for that. And uh, we, pray for, uh, we pray for the family. And uh, on behalf of my community, we bring our condolences uh, to the family, uh, to the church here, and to all the friends. Uh, go uh, well, dear dad, and uh, may God grant you eternal reward. My name is uh, Father Michael Murage. Mzenjega was a great friend to our congregation, the Contemplative Evangelizers of the Heart of Christ. We met him for the first time in the year 2000, and uh, since that time, we have cooperated in uh, various ways. He has helped us quite a lot as an institute. Mze Jenga, as Father Baraza has said, Hedeshiyo dea gya hituki, Hedeshiyo hituka agi dika gemi, No ginya gira igiri de kuhuito, Nago kaka hoa ya dayu kata ikumi ka ikumi na idano, Na netraigu wa tole iruwa ni modo wa fatamuno, Dino watu uro hitu. Na gai amuige hadu hega, uh, our sincere condolences to all the family members or friends and all of you who have come to pray for the soul of Mr. John Jenga. God bless you. I'm Sifiesu Christo. I'm Father John Lukwata, professor at Catholic University. I come from Masaka, Uganda. I 
have come to pray for John and for the bereaved family. I have known him through his uh, children, the sons, and it says that by their fruits you will know them. He passed on his faith and his love to his family. He loved his family, he loved his church, and he loved his country. May the words of Jesus apply to him. Well done, good and faithful servant. Come and share in the joy of your father's house. God bless you. Tumsifu Yesu Christo. Jina ni Father Richard Mwema kutoka shirika la Contemplative Evangelizers Thank you for four priest tuko makasi swaini kutoka hiyo shirika hapa kwa hiyo altari na mzee Njenga kama vile umesikia kwa Father Mbaraza na Father Murage alikuwa rafiki wa ndani sana hakika wakati shirika letu tulipoanzishwa kule ndasi ya Nakuru ilepo kwa nataka kujenga nyumba ya formation hapa father mwanzilishi wetu agetafuta land ya kujenga shirika alipatana na mzee njenga wa kwanza na ndiye alimwelekeza kwa mwenye alituzia hiyo shamba ambalo tumejenga shirika letu na kutoka wakati huo mzee ametuita watoto sons sijaenda pale popote mzee akanintroduce kama jirani ya marafiki hata watu wanachanganyikiwa Anasemanga my son and we are like that. Tumekuwa marafiki sana kwa hiyo familia mzee Njenga tutazidi kuwa marafiki. Tumehakikishia hilo na tuendelee kumwambia kitu kimoja najua cha mzee amelala hapa alikuwa anapenda amani, amani sana. Hakutaka kitu ambacho kinamfuruka akili ama kitu chochote ambacho kinamkozeshea amani. He was a man of peace. Let us value peace in our families and it's more so the family of Jenga to fuate njia sababa aliyetuacha na waidia kumbaki tutabaki kwa marafiki na Mungu aiweke roho yake mahali pema peponi tumsifu Yesu Kristo tumsifu Yesu Kristo Nami pia pamoja na watafakari waeneza injili contemplative evangelizers tumekuja pia kuweza kuapa rambi rambi zetu na pia kuapa utulivu kutoka kwake Mwenyezi Mungu kwa sababu Mungu aliona ni vema baba yetu njenga alimaliza mwendo wake alipiga vita vilivyo vikali kulingana na maandiko ya mtakatifu Paulo mwendo akaumaliza imani akaulinda sasa anapokea taji nashukuru kwa familia ukiangalia kwa hiyo karatasi kuna tribute ya contemplative evangelizers mimi ni mmoja wale walikula mbuzi ya mzee Jenga tunashukuru na sisi tutaendelea kuombea kama familia na kama shirika nzima tuko pamoja kisala na pia kusaidiana kimawazo Mungu awabariki awalinde na watulize Asante sana Naitwa Father Joab Were Contemplative Evangelizers Asante sana mapadre kwa kupata nafasi ya kuja kuwa pamoja nasi leo tunapo uh, adhimisha imisa na sherehe za mwisho za baba yetu uh, Mr. Jenga kuna shemasi pia napenda wasalimie tu na waambie neno Deacon just greet them Tumsifu Yesu Kristo um, Deacon Jen 
I'm just here in spirit and I would like to assure you that we are going to pray for his internal repose. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. The con- John comes from Gabon. Atami mina penda manu yasema kwa pa pole kwa familia na watu wote na penda ku washkuru sana asa wale wa Kristu wetu ambao ametembea na huyu mzee na familia asa wa Kristu wa Saint Monica he belong to uh, the small Christian community of Saint Monica and Saint Monica has been uh, with them uh, since the even when he was sick and all through we came to celebrate mass through the that small Christian community also our CWA uh, women um, who are here, they have also been of great support to the family. Nini Nyote na Christu Wote wa St. John ambapo tumetembea na John na familia katika nyakati za afya na hata nyakati hizi za kifo mungu wa bariki na tuweze kutupa sababu ya kuwa pamoja na kuhishu pamoja kama wa Christu tukisaidiana na tukipeana moyo na baadaye tuombe Mungu atusaidie ili hata safari yetu ikisha tuweze kuunganishwa pamoja na Kristu mbinguni. Let us now arise and ask for God's blessings upon us after which we shall have the the final commendation and then with the final commendation and then we shall uh, embark on a procession to Langata Cemetery, where we shall do the final rites of laying to rest our father, uh, husband, um, grandfather, uh, parishioner, uh, John Jangakimani. Uh, the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless and protect you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Nendeni na amani My dear brothers and sisters, with faith in Jesus Christ, we reverently bring the body of our brother, John Jengakimani, to be buried in its human imperfection. Let us pray with confidence to God, who gives life to all things, that he will raise up this mortal body to the perfection and the company of the saints in heaven. May God give him a merciful judgment and forgive all his sins. May Christ the Good Shepherd lead him safely home to be at peace with God our Father. And may he be happy forever with all the saints in the presence of the eternal King. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. we shall respond, receive his soul and present him to God the Most High. Saints of God, come to his aid, come to meet him 
angels of the Lord. Response, receive his soul and present him to God the Most High. May Christ who called you, John, take you to himself. May angels lead you to Abraham's side. Response, receive his soul and present him to God the Most High. Give him eternal rest, O Lord, and may your light shine on him forever. Response. Let us pray. Father, into your hands we commend our brother John Jengakimani. We are confident that with all who have died in Christ, he will be raised to life on the last day and he will live with Christ forever. We thank you for all the blessings you gave him in this life to show your fatherly care for all of us and the fellowship which is ours with the saints in Jesus Christ. Lord, hear our prayer. Welcome our brother John to paradise and help us to comfort each other with the assurance of faith until we all meet in Christ to be with you and with our brother forever and ever. Amen. May the angels lead you, John Jenga Kimani, into paradise. May the martyrs come to welcome you and take you to the holy city, the new Jerusalem and eternal Jerusalem. Amen. We'll allow the casket to leave first. We'll request the poor bearers to come on the sides here, to turn so that the regs proceed there. And for all of us, we exit through the other doors, but for the casket to get exit through the main door. The family priests to come over. Thank you. 